From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. We are back again here on Let's Talk News Now because if you're talking about it, that means that we're talking about it right here. And today, we are talking with Roche Davis, who is a uh, professional forensic psychologist. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you oftentimes work in the court systems. I do. So when we're talking about Sandusky's case, I mean, this has to be what it's like everybody in your office, like going through the newspapers, turning around, going constantly, <laughs> constantly, 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 to find out what's going on. And it comes up all the time. Okay. Absolutely. So you were saying that there is a separation, correct, between sometimes between a person's actions and their in their totality. That there even somebody such as Jerry Sandusky has some redeeming factors? Absolutely. Absolutely. Where yes. does it come, like, where would it come from? Because obviously, I unfortunately disagree with a lot of people saying that, okay, he's ruined Joe Parr's life or anybody else because it's down to responsibility as well. Um, everybody has to take responsibility for their actions and their part and everything. And you, somebody can't, like, Sandusky can't elicit this sort of behavior for so long without somebody having not you know too many people were involved for somebody not to know so i think that each person needs to take responsibility for why it never came out earlier mm. however how on earth i don't having listened to him he just seems really lost so how can you how do you work with somebody like that how can you see beyond the disgust of what this person does to somebody like vulnerable people how, how how do you do that how do you cope with it well it it's it's basically just acknowledging and recognizing the illness and he is a pedophile obviously um, he has a sexual tendency to gravitate towards young boys um, which is illegal you can't do that um, under our under our law in this country um, but I'm aware that individuals who are pedophiles for one deal with a great shame in what they know that they like, which is having sexual encounters with young children. Right. At the same time, they get a thrill from it because it is something that's considered devious. Um, typically, they have very poor communication skills. They suffer from extremely low self-esteem. Um, they typically um, don't have the ability to publicly accept or say that they are a pedophile and most of them are cognitively impaired 99.9% um, .9 of pedophiles are cognitively disabled to some certain extent it might be moderately it could be severely but that's there so with me understanding that as a psychologist I can't look at a person who I know is handicapped right I, and I know that and still look at them with disgust or how someone else might um, well, that helps. Yeah, that definitely helps. Because I, I'm going to I'm going to change subject here for just a moment because okay. yesterday I got my soapbox and I got a bunch of emails for it <laughs> because I was making fun of I shouldn't make fun. I was drawing attention to the fact that silly people from predominant cities make good reality shows. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. We know that's some good TV watching. And they're franchising yeah. out now, isn't yes. it? <laughs> like, yes. So what is it? And I'm, I'm going to compare it. We've got the Olympics coming up now. Yes. Now, this is this is reality. These are yes. true athletes yes. that have worked for years and years be, behind the scenes, mm -hmm. rigorous lifestyles, mm -hmm. uh, constant training, mm -hmm. all to get that one, two, three moment, three minutes mm -hmm. in a particular event mm -hmm. that they are just going to shop. Right? right. And ironically enough, again, the reality show's ratings go... But yet, when it comes to things like the Olympics, then they tend to maybe not do as well. And it's, it's one just time. surprising to me. It's it's because it's one time. Think about reality. They spend months and months and months and months publicizing it and showing it over and over and over and over again. So it's that kind of you you kind of you're hit with it from so many different le uh, directions that you can't help but pay attention. Whereas the Olympics is once every four years and. But you were talking you yesterday about grow. special about special things. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, so you were talking about you know special things. The fact that we can't like look away. Mm -hmm. yeah. But isn't seeing something really triumphant? Isn't well, shouldn't we gravitate to that equally, if not even more so? Absolutely, we should. We should. <laughs> but we should. But 
we are not, as a whole country, we're not taught to gravitate towards that type of triumph or that type of goodness, which I love the Olympics. I'm a huge sports fan, so I'm extremely excited about it, me personally. Mm -hmm. But as um, as a country, we're, we're not marketed to, to look at those things. So we're gonna gravitate towards those reality shows. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. go back to the good old days. And it's pretty, it's shiny, it's rich. Okay, well, things. Yeah. Are, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the old days. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the old days because here's what it was. When it came to the Olympics, we all were glued to our television sets. Yeah. We all could hardly wait. We loved counting the golds and the number of silvers and the bronze. And we all took great pride in that. Yeah. And I, you know, I okay. Again, I've shown my age, but that's okay. I, that I'm gonna hold on to. But to, a, to an extent, we still are. It's just that it's the one thing, and then it moves on. It's like the Euro or the World Cup. It's, I agree. It's top for that point, and then it goes. But okay. these reality shows keep coming. And it's, coming and going constant. and going. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, that's all right. I have, once again, we have some really, really great entertainment and real entertainment that we're going to be featuring here next on Let's Talk News Now. So we're